you should be talking to JR. Yeah, and say what? I don't know anything. Everything. Just be honest. I mean, the guy is your husband, Marissa. And if you need support, which clearly you do, it's his job to step up and give it to you. Relax, Chandler. You relax. No one messes with my family. No one. Apologize to him. I said apologize. I'm sorry. Now get out of here. Are you okay? I am now. I need to be happy. I'm getting there. I am. I, I know it doesn't sound like it or look like it when I'm hurling my books across the room. <laughs> Even though I let stuff get to me, things really are getting better. I just, you know, have to believe in that. In us. Yeah. And AJ, he seems to be doing well. He does, doesn't he? Yeah. And after everything, that's a miracle in itself, you know? I just want to make things right for my husband and my son. And you. I will pass the bar. And JR and I will be good. We will be better than good. You want me to call hotel security? Just, just tell me what you need. I, uh, I, keep, I keep feeling his hands on me. I should have just been I, I told him that he had the wrong idea, but he just, he wouldn't stop. God, the way he was, he was looking at me and talking to me like, like he could do whatever he wanted and nobody would give a damn. Okay, well, I'm never going to let him touch you again. That's a promise. Oh, my God, if you want to come in. It's okay. It's okay. You're all right. I'm so sorry. What are you sorry for? I was so determined to, like, prove something true. Prove that I have what it takes, and now I probably lost this huge contract. I don't give a damn about the contract. I care about you. You want me to drive you home? What did you do to her? No, no, he, he didn't do anything. He didn't do anything, Scott. Oh my God, what happened to your dress? Uh, um, the, the client that that I met with, he he got pretty aggressive. What? What do you mean aggressive? How do you think she means aggressive? I, I went up to his room. Why? Well, I, I thought to, to sign the deal. He said that he had papers. Oh, that son of a! I bitch. told you not to send Annie. Annie should have never met with him in the first place. We have much, much stronger negotiators. Sweetie, are, are you okay? I'm okay. I'm okay now. Did he hurt you? No. Thank God. Were, were, were you there with her or something? I... No. No, I, I ran into JR as I was leaving. I thought you had a meeting at the office. It changed locations last minute. To the club? Yes. Honey, why didn't you call me? I know, I know. I'm sorry, but honestly, I just wanted to get home to you as soon as I possibly could. I was so scared. Come here. So, you're... What happened today? It's like Annie said. I saw her after the fact. I gave her a ride home. That's it? That's it. Then what was that look between the two of you? I was frustrated that she almost screwed up the deal. You, know, you need to stop doing this. You need to stop looking for some deep connection that's not there. There's nothing going on between Annie and me. Are you sure you're all right? I'm okay, yeah. I should have never put you in that position. Oh, Scott, you didn't know. It's okay. Who are you calling? I'm calling the police. Annie, that guy thinks he can no. put his hands on you and get away no, with it. What? No, no, what? So I can relive it over and over and over again? No. Please, God, I just want to forget everything in that room ever happened. Please, please, can we just do that? Please. Yeah. It's 
already forgotten. Doors open. Hey. Hi. You okay? Not really. Come in. I can't get it out of my head. Uh, don't let that slime ball get to you. Not him. You. My God, I was almost raped today, JR. Raped. And the last person in the world I ever thought would show up did. You you defended me and you, and you called me a part of this family. I mean, am I, am I making this all up? You, you did save me, right? And I do it again in a heartbeat. Why did you come up here? What do you mean? To thank you. You already thanked me, remember? Stop acting like what happened didn't mean anything. It threw you. I know it did because it threw me too. You defended me and you didn't even think twice about it. You care about me, JR. I did what I had to do. No, no, I don't believe that. I couldn't obviously have you filing for a lawsuit against our company. It's my company too now. And you and I both know that is not the reason that you showed up at that hotel room. Go back to Scott, Annie. We need to live up to our, our deal that we made. You live your life, I'll live mine. Your life? My life? What if they're not supposed to be separate? talked about this at the cottage. I know. We agreed that we would stay away from each other. Then why do we keep ending up like this? Tucker, right? And you are? I, I'm Jessica Wilson. I'm a rep for Chandler Enterprises. Mm -hmm. I was hoping that you could Tell me what happened this evening between you and Annie Chandler. Look, I, I don't know what you heard, but all I did was some innocent flirting and then the boyfriend came in and nearly ripped my head off. Scott wasn't there. Not Scott. Adam Chandler's son, JR. Excuse me. You really should leave. We've got work to do. Something is happening to us, JR. Tell me you feel it too. like we've crossed some imaginary line. On one side, it was just sex. It was easy to label. It was easy to explain. But on this side... It's anything but easy. 